In this very short video, we are talking about Instagram tracking. Uh, by passing a specific longitude and latitude, we can get all of the Instagram accounts available in that specific location. Now, this repository is created by Bellingcat named Instagram Location Search and is publicly available on GitHub. And this is created in Python. So let's just have a look at the Python file. Now, if you have ever worked with any of uh, intermediate Python projects, then it will be very easy for you to understand how this is working. And if you haven't worked on creating any of uh, hacking tools or cybersecurity tools in Python, then you can check out the playlist available on our channel in the playlist uh, section. So leaving that for now, let's talk about this program. This is using argparse to get argument parsers from the uh, command line. Then we have CSV, JSON and string and static for data manipulation that will be collected. And also ITAR tools is for one of those. Then we have date, time and time zone for la uh, lat latitude, longitude and on all of uh, specific location wise searching. Then we have defined uh, several of functions to get uh, this is for Instagram locations then for by query and fuzzy locations and uh, various defined functions you can just uh, go line by line and you would be able to understand that then we have HTML template that displays the map uh, the map that we saw in the very first part of this video is displayed using this uh, HTML feature HTML template right here then we have the defined main where we are calling the argument parsers and then we are creating if conditions and calling the defined functions above uh, for various purposes okay then at the end we are just creating the output that will be presented to the user according to the arguments provided now how you can use this i'm not going to show that in this video because previously i made a proper video on this and within around three hours uh, youtube removed it uh, on a channel violation so i cannot show it more than that but obviously this is very easy to understand how you uh, can use that uh, it is the example usage and this requires a uh, cookie sessions okay session id of your instagram obviously so you need to input that you can get that if you go to your uh, web browser and log into Instagram and then get to applications cookies and there is a session ID and make sure you don't share this session ID because this session ID can uh, be used to log into your accounts without Instagram username or password. Okay, so make sure you don't send this to anyone or don't share it with anyone. But you can obviously use this with this program because this doesn't share your uh, Instagram cookies uh, user ID, uh, sorry, session ID. But obviously it is required so that it can be authenticated because we are using a uh, API provided by Instagram for specific locations. Okay. Then there are various options also available according to your uh, requirements right here that you can use to get the output in your own patterns okay so that's all in this video and if you have any doubt or any queries any error while using this program you can just comment below and i'll reply it as soon as possible that's all in this video and if you want to watch more videos like this or any of those topics related to this you can just comment in the comment section and if it will be relevant I'll try to make another video on that. Thank you for watching and keep learning.